cocktail lovers, welcome. It's time for your cocktail date with me, Cocktail Kate. Me and the guys at Delightful Drinks are about to make a modern day classic. It came from the 80s, just like me. It's fruity, it's got crushed ice, so it looks dead cool. It's called the Bramble. So this cocktail is a combination of citrus in the form of lemon, some sweetener in the form of a sugar syrup, which I've made myself. We're going for a little small batch of gin called 58 Gin, but over the top, we're gonna drizzle a little French liqueur called creme de mure, which is a blackberry liqueur. It's a shaken drink, so for that we're going to need our cocktail shaker. As you can see the classic here, another little number. We've also got this tiny little guy. If you don't have any of this, grab yourself a jam jar, get ready. Kick off by cutting my lemon. Get my Mexican elbow. I'm going for 25 mils of lemon juice. Because we've got a fruit liqueur and some sugar syrup, we really do need this lemon juice to shine, otherwise the drink can become too sweet. And then for the sweet, I'm just simply gonna add 10 mils. My general rule is whatever you put in of sour, you put in half of sweet. We're just doing a little less of this today because we've got to also add our fruit liqueur. Okay, so 58 gin. Now, because our fruit liqueur has also got alcohol content, I'm not gonna go for my usual 50 mils, I'm gonna go for 45 mils. We've got our balanced base, we've got our sweet, we've got our sour, we've got our booze. When you think you've got enough ice, add more, then add a little bit more, and add a little bit more. One for good luck. Shaker comes on, push it down, traditional kiss. Big quick shake for the bramble, because we're gonna add crushed ice in a second, and that'll dilute a little bit more as you're drinking, so we don't wanna over dilute it right now. Pop it open, so we're gonna strain it off. If you don't have one of these little gadgets called a Hawthorn strainer, simply use the lid of your jar. Okay, so, to make some crushed ice, take a dishcloth, a tea towel, pour some ice into it. If you have a rolling pin, get hold of it. It's Mexican elbow time. I have a board down to protect the surface. Simply, honestly, rawly, primitively hit the ice. Crushed ice will dilute a lot quicker than cubed ice. It's even more important with crushed ice to pack that glass full. I'm gonna pour this down. Creme de Mure. I'm gonna take 10 mils. Now it's key to kind of go all the way around your drink so it drizzles down. Look at that little beauty. I'm gonna try not to let that overwhelm the drink. I'm gonna get my zester, simply just the potato peeler. To release all of the oil that's kept in the skin. I'm gonna squeeze it over the top. You might see bartenders do this and think, why the heck are they doing that? Spreading their lemon oil all around the drink. I'm gonna take it around the sides and I'm gonna sit him on top. Oh my word. So this is the traditional bramble. If you wanna have a little play and creme de mure maybe isn't your bag, maybe you prefer cassis, okay, which is a little bit sweeter, less tart. Maybe you've got a bottle of Chambord knocking round. That's made with French black raspberries. That works too. If you wanna go completely different, marmalade. Absolute dream. Lemon, sugar, gin, shake it up. Throw a little bit of marmalade in there. Quick shake again. Boom, over crushed ice. A little bit of raspberry jam, a little bit of blackcurrant jam. As long as you keep tasting it and it's balanced, you're winning. See what you prefer, comment, let us know, give me a shout. If there's anything you want me to do in future videos, let me know too. I'll see you soon, enjoy.